Hello, hello, hello. <clears throat> I am Melissa L. Watkins, Evidential Medium and a Master Instructor Teacher with Integrated Energy Therapy. And I'm here to do the full moon in Taurus pick a card. So I'm really excited about this for each and every one of you. So I hope that you were able to um, settle down and get excited for these energies because I know that they're bringing a lot of emotion. I know they're bringing a lot of triggers. I know that a lot is coming up, but it's to be released so that we can get to the good stuff so that we can finally get to that road, that timeline, uh, that way in which we want to be and do in our lives that has felt very blocked or stuck or stagnant, right? So I'm really, really excited to be here with each and every one of you. So I hope you are just as excited uh, for this reading because I know that it's going to be beneficial. So all right. With that being said, I actually pulled. Um, so we're using the Diana Cooper uh, Magic of the Unicorns, which is actually the picture of the cards that's on the uh, poster. Um, so that's uh, the overarching uh, energy that wanted to come out to kind of work with us in this uh, Taurian energy. Um, and then I also picked... Um, Preview, uh, already, the uh, Queen of the Moon Oracle, which is the deck that I use for each and every um, in some way. I always use this for our uh, newer full moon pick of cards. Um, so she, uh, that deck by Stacey DeMarco always comes out for these uh, full or new moon readings. So, so these are the piles that we have. So we have one, two, and I have not looked at them, three. So there they are. Let's see if I can hold them so I can show you. So we have one, two, and three. One, two, and three. And what I say is don't look at the one that you normally go to or the number that maybe is your favorite number, right? Really feel it. Like, what is, what is the one that I can't stop looking at? Or what is the number I'm hearing in my head? Or um, what is the one that's really drawing me in, right? Which, which, which card, right? Go with that, right? Go with that gut feeling because that's going to be your message. There might be something in each of these messages for you, but there's going to be something particularly in that message for you. So <clears throat> Taurus energy is very grounded. It's an earth energy. Uh, Taurian energy can be very um, slow, can be very uh, methodical. Uh, it's that bull energy, right? Um, but uh, Taurus also loves all the finer things in life. Um, so if you have Taurus in your chart uh, anywhere, and we all have Taurus in one house of our chart, but for those of you who have it maybe as your sun sign, your ascendant sign, or your moon sign, right? Uh, this would be particularly uh, beneficial for you um, or transformative in these energies. So, yeah, so that's what we've got going on with this energy. Uh, full moons are all about releasing. So that's going to be part of this, right? What are you releasing in this energy? So, yeah, so take a deep breath um, and let's see what uh, Taurus wants to bring us. All right. Pile number one. Pile number one. We're just going to dig right in. Pile number one. Spiritual warrior. Whew. Show you are a wise leader. Command the universe. So that is uh, your unicorn message, which has uh, a lion right on there, Taurus, um, or Taurian energy. This isn't, this is pile number one. Yeah, but I was surprised to see uh, the lion with the lamb right by there. But do, that doesn't that show strength? That that lion like is not concerned with that lamb like right there, um, enjoying its comfort, um, and the heart chakra in both of these um, animals is being highlighted here. So um, let's dig in to this for you, pile number one, and see what uh, spirit wants you to know in this full moon. In this full moon for you. Uh, show you are a wise leader, command the universe. When you are a spiritual warrior, you are strong, courageous, and wise. You use your power to protect the weak and vulnerable. You are the honest and honorable so that people trust and are loyal to you. You are emotionally mature because your masculine and feminine qualities are in equilibrium. 
So gentleness is balanced with a decisiveness, compassion with firmness, and serenity with action. You are a natural leader with authority, charisma, and grace, and you empower others to do their best. When you receive this card, you're being called to look within and see that you have the qualities of a spiritual warrior. Stand in your power with wisdom. Your unicorn is alerting you that choosing this card means that the universe will bring forward an opportunity for you to show your mettle. So be prepared. At this level, the spiritual development, you no longer make requests for you are a leader who commands. So be clear and firm about what you want and where you are going. Know that legions of angels, unicorns, and light beings await your orders. Command these forces of the universe to line behind your intention, and they will support you. The unicorn will light up your vi visions and pour higher blessings over you. You are a force for good, but one who enables humanity to make a jump shift into the new golden age. So, uh, yeah, you're a spiritual warrior. You may not be feeling like it right now, but this is the energy that you're being brought to because this is the energy that you need to embody going forward. So, um, yeah, look at that. Again, I picked these cards. I didn't look at them. And there it is, wisdom. Didn't I, didn't I just talk about wisdom? That part of being the spiritual warrior is you're bringing your wisdom. Yeah, you're bringing your wisdom to the table. So look at that. You're bringing your wisdom. Yeah, so I just went, yeah, so I just went back in the book and it says, stand your power with wisdom. So there it is. Um, very, very important. Um, your wisdom, right, is that innate ability that you've come into this lifetime with or you've gained, right, over your experience, your life experience in this lifetime, this wisdom of knowingness, knowing who you are, what you want, what is right, what is wrong, being able to tap in to the wisdom of your higher self, that is going to absolutely be coming into play here in this, these energies. This full moon is bringing you the ability to tap into that wisdom, that spiritual wisdom, so that you can speak your truth. You can go in the direction that you need to go in for yourself, pile number one. This isn't about... Um, the number two... 22. Look at that. Um, I just did the weekly reading and the number two came out. So this, uh, the numerology of number two is going to be really, really um, special for you, pile number one. Um, and the attributes of the two angel number is a sign from your guardian angels that we should have faith and never give up, no matter how difficult things may be. Our angels are always near and available to help us. The guidance of our angels may come when we least expect it, so we must always stay alert and receptive. Yeah. When you see angel number two repeatedly, it carries a special a special message from your guardian angels that they are with us and they we should not give up faith. And I feel like you're uh, being brought that message because as a spiritual warrior, right, it can get really, really hard to try to stay in your faith and try to stay in connection when maybe there's some really difficult obstacles and challenges in your way right now. And so um, what you're being brought here is the wisdom in which to be able to kind of um, work through or move past those obstacles and challenges by receiving the knowingness. And so if you can um, get quiet so that you can hear them and not lose faith and keep persevering, pile number one, um, spirit is absolutely going to lead you to the solutions that you're looking for. So yeah, it may feel like you've got to put your armor on because um, right now the uh, mental body, your ego is going, it's not going to work out. Things aren't working out. Um, this is too hard. You can't do this. You are not good enough. Whatever that mental programming is that's saying you're, 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 you can't do it. Don't do it. It's not going to work out. And spirit saying, yes, it is. So this trapped in fear is your own fear 
is your own fear of your ego going, we need you to stay safe and stable. So we need you to stay in the old way, right? We need you to sit down, be quiet, um, do everything for everyone else, be there for everyone else, um, stay in the job that you're in, stay in the relationship that you're in, because that's where it's safe, right? Yeah, it's not good. It's not what you want, but we we know that, right? And that's why the fear is coming in, because the uh, spirit, I'm sorry, your ego wants you to stay in that old story, in that old paradigm, because that's where your ego is feeling safe, right? But you, the spiritual warrior, is saying, I feel there's more. I know there's more. My my gut instinct is to go in this new direction. And that's why spirit's coming in to say, yeah, absolutely, because in this energy, you're growing, you're evolving. You're seeing the signs. You're feeling the knowingness, right? Two, two, two. Whatever angel number, 1111, right? So stay in the fortitude of moving forward because you're you're building. You're growing. You're building. Things are coming to you, whether it's internally. Things can't manifest in your external until you get the internal right. So if you're someone who's like um, not feeling it, you can't manifest it on the external. You've got to feel it on the internal. So right now there's a lot of internal shifting going on, which is why they're bringing you um, this sign to keep going forward, right? Because you've got to overcome that internal fear. You've got to overcome that internal stop gap, right? Whatever it is, that old trauma, that old drama, that old thought pattern, whatever it is, right? And so this is where you're now building into the new pile number one, but you've got to be the warrior. You've got to say, I got to follow my gut. You got to keep going because that, that knowingness, right? That um, taking the steps forward, the fertility, things uh, coming together for you, um, beginning with this energy is where you look at this prosperity begins. So it is, it is time for prosperity to begin pile number one, but you've got to, you've got to overcome that fear, which is why they're bringing you the unicorn of spiritual warrior and letting you know that you do have the wisdom. You do have the knowingness. You do have the faith. You just have to lean into it. You just have to, excuse me, lean into it. So let's find out who wants to come in to help you with this. Let's find out what uh, Angel wants to come in and say, hey, we're right here. All you have to do is call on us, right? So who wants to come in? Uh, okay. Yeah. And you got two. Pile number one, you got two. Not just one. You got abundance. Step into overflow. So the energy of abundance is coming in. Yeah. Look at that. Prosperity beginning. Pile number one. Prosperity beginning. So abundance is on its way. But you have to do the work, right? You have to do the work to overcome the fear. You have to do the work to say, I'm not going to let the fear be the thing, right? That's driving my train. Mm -mm. I'm going to get into the perseverance and the knowingness that I can walk through, move past, right? And there's another 242, right? I can get through this. Because abundance is my right. Abundance is coming. Abundance is on its way. Prosperity is beginning. Things are starting to show up. But if I'm staying in the fear of this is too different, this is too new, this feels uncomfortable, then that's all I'm going to receive, right? So this is about not holding yourself back, but allowing the abundance to come in, pile number one, because it's your right. And the fertility is bringing everything to you. So we have to get into joy, right? Prioritize play and pleasure. Yeah, we have to get into joy. Master number 33, spirit is around you, guiding you and supporting you. Feel their love. Feel that universal source love coming in to say, it's okay to be joyful. Yeah, things may be hard right now. Yeah, things may not be what you want them to be, but this full moon is changing that. And we just need you to be the warrior, right? We need you to be the warrior by staying in your joy and high vibrational frequency because we're going to be bringing you the abundance. 
and it's here, but you've got to now bring it into your ex in, uh, external experience, right? By getting into the joy internally, then you start to manifest in the external. And that's what I feel for you, pile number one, with this message, that this full moon is shifting things for you so you can start bringing things into your external. But it's through the wisdom and it's through the perseverance and it's through um, not giving up. And, and really walking through, leaning into, letting go of the fear. All right. So thank you for being here. Pile number two. Pile number two. Here we go. Are we ready, pile number two? Look for signs. Oh, number 11, master number 11. Pay attention. Expect an answer. Look at that. Your unicorn coming in. That's beautiful. Number two, uh, number 11. And you may be seeing the number 11 or the number 1111 a lot right now because angels are trying to get your attention to say, hey, things are working out in your favor. Things are going in the right direction, even though it doesn't feel like it right now, even though things are uh, feeling like one obstacle or challenge after another, right? Or you've been in that really, really bad situation and now you're really feeling it's time to move. It's time to go, right? And that feels uncomfortable. That feels scary because maybe it's been a situation you've been in for a very long time. Or maybe it's a situation that you fought for really, really hard, right? And walking away from it just doesn't feel right. But your signs are being given to you. Your unicorn has many ways of letting you know that it is with you and helping you. It often indicates its presence by drawing your attention to a little white feather. If you see one, acknowledge and bless it and then thank the unicorn. You have asked your unicorn for assistance or for a message. It will always reply. It can give you answers in many ways. It may respond by drawing your attention to a page in a book or an article, or a person may speak the words your unicorn wants you to hear. Be aware of other signals too. Unicorns carry Christ light, which is unconditional love vibrating with the number 33. So see this number as a sign of their presence. A unicorn toy, t-shirt or picture, or a horse-shaped cloud, all indication unicorns are with you and are in an unexpected rainbow or a dove of peace. Anything unicorn-related in an unusual place can be a sign. Receiving this card is itself a signal that your celestial guide is close to you. Your guidance is to ask your unicorn a question and watch out for the response. It will come. Trust the process. So you're being asked to look for the sign and then trust the answer. Yes. And how that comes is through your focus. Staying really focused on what it is you want. Staying focused on your goals, your dreams, your desires. Staying focused on your transformation, your healing. Staying focused on your knowingness, your gut instinct, right? So the signs are coming, and this is also master number 44. So, um, or four, I'm sorry, it's 14. It's a number five. Yeah, it's change. It's change. You're going through change, pile number two. So looking for a sign helps you make the changes you need to make, knowing that they're always taking you in the direction that's leading you to where you need to go. So that's what I feel for you, pile number two. All right. So let's dig into this. Yeah, because some of you are being really asked to make major changes, um, getting out of that abusive relationship, um, leaving that um, narcissistic boss, um, you know, being um, guided to uh, leave a, a, any situation, you know, friend, family, work, uh, partner, whatever it is where you're not being respected and you're not being valued. That's what this feels like, um, pile number two. So let's see where Spear wants to take this. Yeah. Yeah, they're bringing you the intuition, that gut instinct. That that gut instinct that says go this way, not that way even though you've always gone that other way, no, 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 don't go down that road, go down this new road. That's what you need to start paying attention to and start needing to listen to because your intuition spirit is guiding you. That's your spirit guidance. That's your higher self going, I've got the map, follow me, right? 
that's what I'm feeling for you. That's why it's important for you to focus, to turn off the distraction, get away from uh, anybody else's drama, getting away from social media for a minute, getting away from the uh, regular media for a minute, um, really just uh, almost going into a little bit of a hermit mode and saying, okay, what am I feeling? What is spirit bringing me? Uh, what is that voice uh, in my head keep repeating that I've been shoving to the background? I've been ignoring hard, right? Yeah. Because the wheel of your destiny is turning and where you've been, where you've been that has not been serving you, it's time to go. It's time to move. The wheel is turning and this full moon is absolutely going to turn that wheel in a way that you can't turn it back, right? You're only going in one It only spins in one direction is what I'm hearing. And so there's no going backward. And so there's something that is going to be um, moved uh, within you and without you, right? Within, internally, without, externally, right? Something is shifting and your intuition has been telling you what that is for a while now. I don't feel like this is something that's just coming this week. I feel like this, these signs and this focus has been needed for a minute. Like you've been going through this for a minute. I don't even think I'm saying anything that's really surprising you because you've been feeling the change. You've been feeling the difference. You've been getting the signs for a while now is what I'm hearing, okay? So now it's time to take action. Now it's time to go in the new direction, uh, to follow that new road, that new indication. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah. So memories, choices, and decisions. Movement, choices, and decisions. Yeah, it's and look at the number two. Number two seems to be a theme for this week, uh, for this uh, full moon. Yeah. So you are being guided. You are being protected. You are being led. Because it is time for movement choices and decisions. And again, we have free will choice. You know, you can choose to stay. But I just feel like that would cause a tower moment, like an unexpected, nope, you've really got to go. And they've been bringing you these signs because this is your destiny. This is where you need to go. Um, yeah. And surrender to the process. Surrender to the process. Pile number two. It's time to surrender to the process. To know that the energy has been building the momentum has been building and you've been getting the, the impetus, the feeling, the nudge, the whatever it is. Um, it's been coming because you just need to surrender to the direction they're bringing you to, which is the light, which is Christ consciousness, which is uh, the better relationship, the better job, the better whatever, right? The thing that's going to serve you, the thing that's going to respect you, the thing that's going to bring you joy, right? You can't get joy where you are. Because if you could have, you would have by now. And it's been just hurting your heart and stealing your energy, your resources, your finances, your friends. It's not been serving you. It's time to get back into the light. It's time to surrender because this full moon is bringing the accelerated motion. This full moon is bringing the changes. So for those of you who haven't been wanting to make the change, I feel like the accelerated motion is going to bring the change. Something is going to shift in a way that you just have to keep going forward. You have to go away from um, the wheel of destiny that's only turning in one direction. Yep. Only turning in one direction. And it's time to go. So that's what this full moon is bringing you. Oof. Pile number two. That was a lot of cards there, but a big message. So let's find out um, who wants to be on this uh, ride with you right now. And you can call on for assistance whenever you need to. Okay. So let's see what a archangel is with you. Archangel Jeremiah, signs, symbols, and synchronicities, 1111. There it is. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Oof. There it is. It's time. <clears throat> card number 11. 1111 on this card. Look at that. Yeah, spirit is speaking. I feel like they're shouting from the rooftops. And um, it's not that you haven't noticed. You haven't wanted to notice. You haven't accepted it. Um, pile number two, I think there's no not accepting it in this full moon. Something is going to shift. Something is going to move you. And it's time, honey. It's time. It's time to go in the new direction. It's time to be respected and loved and grounded, um, supported. 
because you're ascending. You're ascending. You're transform. You're tr you're, you're the butterfly. You're the butterfly that's transforming. And there's no going back. That wheel is only spinning in one direction and it's taking you forward. And so the signs are coming in. The synchronicities are coming in. They're not coincidences. They're synchronicities. It's spirit bringing you what you need when you need it. And it's time. Sending you lots of light and love. Thank you for being here. Hey, pile number three. Let's see what spirit wants to bring you for this full moon. Uncord relationships. Let go now. Forgiveness is freedom. Ooh, forgiveness. I know that can be a hard concept for um, some people, and it can also be very triggering for some, right? But it's a beautiful, beautiful energy when you can really um, embrace it, uh, accept it, internalize it. And this isn't the forgiveness of letting anybody off the hook. This is the forgiveness of, I'm just ready to let it go. I'm letting it go for me. I'm letting it go because it's holding me back. And it's time. And it's time. All right. So let's take a look at what Spirit wants to bring you. Your unicorn loves you with a high, pure love. These perfect beings cannot comprehend the attachments we make on Earth, but have enormous compassion for us and will help us to let go of any that are holding us back. Oh, my nose. Any lower emotions you are harboring against someone may be perfectly justified when examined from the limitations and ego beliefs in of this lifetime. However, your guidance is to release them all now. Consider how you could have attracted that person's behavior, what might have occurred in other lifetimes. Are they teaching you something important in this one? A desire for a particular outcome or a lack of forgiveness binds your soul to someone else's. How many more years or even lifetimes are you prepared to be chained to this person? When you can happily bless a person who has wronged you and visualize them receiving whatever they want or need, you are free. Then your unicorn can joyfully replace all you have lost and more. They can return money and possessions multiplied and restore and enhance your reputation. They can bring you greater love, success, health, and happiness. Unconditional love does not form binding cords, so you can never lose true love. Your guidance is to scan back through the years for anyone, dead or alive, who you may still be influencing you. Then ask your unicorn to set you both free. Isn't that beautiful? Isn't that beautiful? Because it's time. It's time. It's time to be set free. Yeah. Yeah. Because it's time for you to nourish your soul, nourish your dreams, nourish your goals, nourish your abundance. And all of that is being held off because of whatever you're harboring that's hurting your soul, right? Number seven, number four, 11. You got the master number 11. Yeah, angels are coming in to say, it's time to free yourself. It's time to nourish your passion, your desire, whatever it is that you want, your spirit, nourish your spirit so that you can draw to you the things you do want. Because anything that you're harboring is, is only bringing more of what you don't want. And aren't you ready to be done with that? <clears throat> I know it's hard. I know it's hard. But... You're not letting anybody off the hook. You're just moving on. It's time for you to receive. It's time for you to receive. And the longer you don't want to, the longer it's going to take you to receive the abundance, the prosperity, the health, the wealth, the happiness. It oh, just takes more time. <clears throat> yeah, I'm feeling like these aren't the cards. Okay, so we're going to move over here. Um, you're the only um, pile that's actually been used, that's going to use the angel cards. 
uh, the other cards that I wanted to use were the um, Psychic Tarot by John Holland, but you're actually getting the... Um, Angel Tarot by Travis McHenry. So sometimes I just have to go where spirit leads me, guys. And spirit's leading me to the angels want to come in and help you. Help you with this forgiveness. Help you with letting this being released from your heart. Cutting any cord that's keeping you grounded into somebody else's energy that's not supporting you, loving you. It's not supportive or loving, right? Okay, we got three that just fell right out. Yeah, the Eight of Pentacles. God, God, the teacher. Yeah, it taught you what you needed to learn if you take the lesson. And now that it's taught you what you need, like you can move on. So that's what I'm getting with this. It's it's time to move on. You you've learned what you needed to learn. You've you've been you've gained what you could gain. Um, and for some of you, it was about being beneficial to the other person. For some of you, um, there really wasn't anything for you to gain. That's why it's just important for you to move on because they had an opportunity with you to seize uh, your love, your compassion, your intelligence, your resources, um, showing you there's a better way. You showed them there was a better way. Um, if they didn't take that model, if they didn't take that, that's on them. That's not on you. And that's what I'm feeling. I'm feeling like this eight of pentacles is like you did the work. And you showed them how to do the work. You were their example. You were their mentor. You were their um, port in the storm. And they didn't embrace it. And they didn't embrace it. Yeah, so the six of wands protects against infirmities. God who took evil. Yeah, it's time for you to move away. Anybody that was very, I don't want to say use the word evil, <clears throat> maybe selfish, uh, manipulative. And again, in any form of your life, whether, you know, family, friend, relationship, lover, spouse, um, anyone, anyone who, you know, manipulated you, used you, um, didn't embrace what you brought to the table, didn't um, respect you um, or respect the relationship they were in with you. Um, yeah, the seven of swords, God nurturing and maintaining everything, knowledge of good and evil, appeases divine anger, cure. Yeah. So yeah, the seven of swords, uh, the eight of pentacles and the six of wands, six, seven, eight, it's time to move on. <laughs> six, seven, eight, it's time to move on. Look at that. Six, seven, eight, it's time to move on. You, you progressed. You progressed. Uh, they did not. And now it's time to go. Whatever the relationship is, and then just forgive. Forgive it. Forgive them for not progressing. Forgive yourself for maybe staying too long, trying too hard. You know, when you're the only one in a relationship, whatever the relationship is, but if you're the only one in that relationship trying to make it work, it's not going to. Because it has to be both. You both have to be working or uh, the good, right, of, of the relationship, of the situation, right? And if you're not, then there's no way that it can work out. Not long-term. Short-term, but not long-term. So uh, pile number three, uh, you're really being asked to just forgive whatever the situation was, but move on. Move on. With light and love, release the resentment, release the anger, release the whatever. It's time. And who wants to help you along that way? Archangel Michael, step into empowerment. Yeah, oh, shite, sugar. Yes, look at that, look at that. Yes, empower yourself to make the choices and decisions for yourself. Release, let go, move on, light and love, harbor no ill will, but it's just time to go. It's time to allow yourself to empower your own mission, empower your own love, empower your own passion, empower your own goal. Empower your own focus. Empower you. Ooh, that's beautiful. Perfect. Call in Archangel Michael. Ask him to cut the cord, whatever cord needs to be cut.
and move on. Release the cord. Call in Archangel Michael with whatever help you need to, to do that. Especially if it's, uh, the hurt is still sitting very much on your heart. Um, you can also invo invoke Archangel Raphael to come in with Archangel Michael so you get the strength and the healing. Because this is something that is still really weighing on your heart and you may need extra support. So pile number three, it's just, it's time. Thank you for being here.